Number 39, a force F, which is equal to C times X minus 3 times X squared, acts on a particle as the particle moves along an X axis, with F in newtons, X in meters, and C a constant. At X equals to zero, the particle's kinetic energy is 20 joules. At X equals to 3 meters, it is 11 joules. Find the constant C. So we are going to use the work kinetic energy theorem so the work is equal to the change in the kinetic energy and we are going to compare the kinetic energy between the initial position which the kinetic energy is 20 joules and the final one which is 11 so the change in the kinetic energy is equal to the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy in in our case this is equal to 11 minus 20 which is equal to minus 9 joules so we know that the work done is equal to minus 9 joules one way another way actually to find the work is applying this force in this equation over here x initial the final one f dx so now we are going to solve this integral over here so we will find the work in a second way so then we can try to find the constant c okay so solving this equation over here we have that the work is equal to the initial position which is zero the final position which is three f is equal to cx minus three x squared dx just notice that this is a vector but in principle this equation it is like this you have the dot product so since it is in the i direction which is the same as the x direction so we can we can just use uh, the magnitude of the values without the, the the vector itself okay so solving this integral over here we have cx squared over 2 from 0 to 3 minus 3x to the third over 3 from 0 to 3 so this is equal to c times 9 over 2 minus 27 so let me just simplify a little bit more so minus 27 plus 4.5 c so this value here is equal to this value over here so we have that minus 9 is equal to minus 27 plus 4.5 c so we can send this to the other side so 18 is equal to 4.5 c so c is equal to 4 and we have to find the unit of c right we have to find the unit of c which is kind of simple you just take this part of the equation over here you see that you have that f is equal to c times x and x is in meters so this is in meters and the force is in newtons so c is equal to f over x which gives us newton per meter so that's the unit of c so the full answer is c is equal to 4 newton per meter